a total of $11,106,633 were pledged as donations to Hayastan Ola Armenian Fund during its 12-hour telethon 2018, which was held in Los Angeles. In particular, proceeds from the 21st annual telethon will benefit the installation of drip irrigation systems in Nagorno-Karabakh and will expand the use of solar energy there. Proceeds from Telethon 2018 will also be used to improve community infrastructure in Armenia. Armenia's acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan visited the fund's office and donated 1 million drums from the Prime Minister's fund and 500,000 drums from his personal funds. The City Council Derby, a city in central England, unanimously passed a resolution to recognize the Armenian Genocide. The City Council resolved to formally recognize the killing of 1.5 million Armenians by the Ottoman Empire in 1915-1918 as an act of genocide committed against the Armenian people, the resolution says. The Council also asks Her Majesty's government to consider recognizing the Armenian Genocide. Co-founder of National Instruments, James Tushar, will get Armenia's Global IT Award 2018. The award is handed to prominent IT figures for their outstanding contribution to IT development. Among the previous laureates are Apple Computers founder Steve Wozniak, a designer of Intel 4004 microprocessor Federico Pagin, and former Hitachi CEO Tsugio Makimoto. Armenia's acting Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan does not consider that the rages with Belarus have flared up that they should calm down now. He noted this commenting on the recent battle of words between Yerevan and Minsk over the matter of appointing the next Secretary General of the Collective Security Treaty Organization, the CSTO. Russia and Armenia have signed an agreement on the establishment of an international bureau for the investigation of aviation accidents. The new bureau is expected to gradually take over some powers of the International Aviation Committee. Its headquarters will be located in Moscow. The budget will be formed from contributions of the parties. More than 450 families have repatriated to Armenia since May 2018, acting Diaspora Minister Mukhtar Hayrabetyan said. Most of these families returned to Armenia from Russia, Iran and the US, he said, adding that these were the families which had contacted the ministry and therefore the real number may be higher.